I'm Alex Bell getting to the point and digging deeper into local issues. And for the past 20 years, California has resettled more than 108,000 refugees. Now, state data shows that Sacramento County is a top destination for refugees arriving in California, with 2,400 refugees resettling here between 2017 and 2019. But resettling in a new country, yeah, it's about as hard as it sounds. And ABC 10's Van 2 joins me now to help get to the point and introducing us to a local nonprofit paving a path for refugees led by those with a shared experience. Yeah, Alex, I mean, you said it, just put yourselves in the shoes of a refugee. Many are stripped of culture, community, and language and thrust into a new country essentially to start all over again. So it can make it hard for anyone to find their footing. But a team at Asian Resources Inc. says they've been in their shoes and it's their mission to help refugees get a critical jump start. Piece by piece. I like to work that position. Building HVAC ducts with laser-like focus. This is Mohammed Ramin's way of rebuilding a new life for his family in America. First time I come to the United States in 14 July 2017 with my family. Ramin among the many Afghan refugees resettling in the Sacramento region. Some people is working with American people, is not allowed to stay in Afghanistan, is not safe. He had worked in the HVAC field at the U.S. Embassy, but found his experience in Afghanistan was no good in his new home. Even after studying for nine months to obtain new certification, landing a job here at OMAC Construction in Rancho Cordova was no easy task. I applied myself. No company accepted, but the resource or IRC applied is accept easy. It was with the guidance of Asian Resources Incorporated in Sacramento that Ramin was matched with the company through its on-the-job training program, matching refugees with employers in the region. It's led by these two men, who have both been in Ramin's shoes. I'm a former I'm a refugee. Chong Wang, a refugee from Laos, came to the U.S. in 1983. I'm a refugee by myself. I came to U.S. It's about 20, 29 years ago. And Andrei Paradko from Ukraine. They came to the U.S. speaking little to no English. I probably know a couple of apple, banana, cherry burgers, and simple hi or thank you. And worked several odd jobs. First, my job it was like house cleaning with my wife. They say in those early years, there weren't many programs to help refugees resettle. Since we already faced the challenge, we couldn't guide them directly how to get started. Mm -hmm. So it won't delay the resettlement in the U.S. And their passion to help others led them to ARI 11 years ago. The nonprofit also assists immigrants and refugees with English learning skills, job skills, and studying for naturalization tests. Since then, the nonprofit has helped dozens of families land jobs through its on the job training program. When employed train, they're expecting to retain the person. So I see very successful. Ramin says success is his only option as he thinks about his family left behind in Afghanistan. I miss my country. But knows his two daughters will have better lives. Sometimes uh, she watched the TV. He asked me, Father, why my country is like this? I don't want to be go there. Nobody go to school. No allowed to go to school. The ladies. That's not good. With the help of yeah. former refugees with a blueprint to lead the way. America has got for a future for my kids. Oh, Alex, what I love about the story is the diversity of it all. It's so representative of Sacramento, right? You have an asylee from uh, Laos, a refugee from Ukraine, now helping an Afghan refugee. Now, since October, ARI says it has placed 15 clients in their on-the-job training program with 10 people completing it. Now, ARI subsidizes 75% of the hourly rate for 320 hours per client when they are in the training program. And if people do want to get involved, what are some ways that they can do that? Well, ARI is always looking for volunteers, of course, and uh, to really support all of their programs and services. So the on-the-job training program is just one of the many services they offer. So we will share a link to ARI on ABC10.com, Alex. All right, Van, thank you so much as always. And if you have a question, all you have to do is just email us at to the point at ABC10.com.